Okay, waves on the curved or flat earth. Now, if you want to accept that there's a curve, I've got problems with waves for you. Now, waves start out curved. They get very straight over distance in the ocean. And I've seen plenty of times ultra straight lines coming in to our local beaches. And you can drive for hundreds of kilometres. Now, this beach is 10 kilometres long. And I've seen swells come into this beach from a real easterly direction and it faces dead east. And I've seen nearly the one line of wave on the whole beach. Sets of four of them coming in and nearly shutting down in the one spot where we can't surf it. This is where there's a rip and it's creating this left-hander here and a bit of a right-hander here. The gutters and um, deeper spots and that's what you've got a bank here, you see. So surfers know what I'm talking about there, but sometimes there's no banks and these waves are just straight as a die for nearly 10 kilometres and just shut down all within a few seconds. Now, on a curved earth, it would be different. The curves would splay the waves and you wouldn't be able to drive along the coastline and see the same waves breaking for miles. That really is more what it's going to be like on a flat earth where everything is more or less the same for miles and miles and miles and miles. Now we do see curves in waves, especially on this coastline where we have these points. You can see the straight lines coming in and then hitting the point and of course then they splay. And this really all waves in the world should be really curved on a curved earth. These lines sometimes standing up on this headland, you can see for miles are just straight as lines, just coming in straight and then they jack when they hit here and they splay. This should be the look of waves, as I said, all the time on a curved earth. And a spinning ball earth, you'd think there'd be big currents, all sorts of wish wash waves that jump up in the air. I mean, it's hard to see it being as stable and clean as this. If there's no swell, this place can look like an absolute bay. I'll show you that. Now here it is with its different waves, as you can see. Quite a surf break, this one. It's on its real good day. And you see, look, the mechanics, the way it's curving in there because of the, uh, the point. Where's a day with no waves? I'm just highlighting the, uh, the waves in every picture. Amazing surf break, you must admit, this one. That was a pretty still day. Oh, I've got one of my shots. Hang on a second. Yes, this uh, bay here, open to the sea, yet it gets so calm. Look at this nice little wave, one every about two minutes. I mean, on a spinning ball earth, and you want to believe the oceans could ever be still. And you can see the haze of the sand there. That's 40 kilometres. And this is right in sea level. This is a person standing in the water, taking this shot. It was right on the shore. So there you go with your feet in the water, I should say. But you can see it's pretty close to sea level. And you can see a long way away. Look how still all this is. Yep, no wind or, or wind from a long direction. And you don't have any waves. The ocean goes very still. So that is another point of that the earth is not spinning. Because water would move around on a spinning earth. There'd be nothing to stop it. But it's a bit like the atmosphere and the planes going up. That's the big one too. Why can't planes just hover and wait for their destination to come to them? Because it's all moving. And then how can it be that? It'd have to be inside a glass ball. The whole ball spinning. Well, that's not sounding right, is it? And here's the final picture for you. Uh, barefoot surfing. Yeah, soon need your surfboard and I'll tell you what, you save on wax. So that little sand haze there. Very nice, eh? Very nice conditions. And said, yeah, when the conditions are this good, you can just uh, ride on your feet.
And that is actually me, uh, in case you didn't know. Cheers.